Hey everybody, it's Zyle uh, here. Welcome back to the long, dark road to 500 days on Interloper. We are progressing along quite well. Day 69. So be it. Um, I think we can go with some. We have some time to kill here. Just going to find the door. That's the workbench. Huh? What am I stuck on? It's over here. Yeah. Um, we might kill a few more hours uh, before we try and sleep. Ooh, nice night. But visibility is is zero. Mm, let's just uh, get to this. Uh, we'll be using the hacksaw. Harvest ourselves some steaks off these things. Got a lot of food uh, laying around Mystery Lake. Certainly at Trappers, we have loads, which is great. And we're kind of going to... It's either wander... I really want the satchel, so I think we kind of need to hang out around here hunting and doing various things, stocking up trappers, making it um, presentable um, so that we can wait on the moose, basically. And a bear, if it comes, you know, a bear comes for sure, right? But just, uh, we're going to kind of just chill for a bit. Um, because I want that moose satchel before I'm going to start really roaming around um, and going after various things. We'll be heading back to Broken Railroad for sure. Because uh, we want to get Broken Railroad established as a outpost area. That's awesome. Okay, so time-wise, still early. Um, it is way too dark and foggy, though, to be roaming around out there. And we all know how easy I can get into trouble in the dark. I don't need to do a fire or anything, as far as I'm concerned. Um, better drink? Why is she complaining? She's inside. Stop complaining about a fire. Oh, I don't have any water. Um, hmm. I guess we do need a fire. Um, okay. Do we have any wood, though? We don't. Oh, dear. Did I ever get myself into a little bit of a predicament? I kind of forgot that I needed water. Okay, enough of this. Turn this on. So, that does look at where I was. Ridiculous. That kind of changes things. Guess we will need to do something about that. It's quite simple to do. This requires me wandering around in the dark a little bit, which is horrifying to think about. Requires me to know my map very well. Find my way back. It's uh, ridiculous uh, weather. Dense fog. There we go. Okay, so the way we'll do this is we will orient ourselves uh, towards where I need to go. Put this out, and then we will simply uh, chop this thing right down. What does it say no for? Can you, you can't do it in the dark? 
Guess you can't break it down in the dark. Uh huh. Okay, well, this is going to be interesting. What I'm about to attempt to do. If I can even get a fire down here beside it. Now I'm disoriented, which is fantastic. Nowhere to get a fire going here, eh? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so cancel that plan. That is not what we're going to do. What we are going to do is just sort of look for sticks and get enough of a fire being able to go on uh, to make some water so we can sleep. But we're going to definitely need a... Tomorrow is going to be a wood water day for trappers. This is ridiculous that I have no... Water. Come on, little fire. Oh, oh yeah. We got ourselves a bit of a fire. Yeah, thirty five minutes on that. Anyways. Another one. It's so cold. I just want to lay down for a bit. Okay. All right, we'll get serious about all this nonsense in the morning. Well, it's uh, certainly daytime outside. It'll be light out. Hopefully it's not. Hopefully it's not a blizzard out. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. God, I hate trying to see stuff in the dark. There's, that's the chair, that's the bed, that's the workbench. We should be right about there. We'll take these. It will give us something to do.
Still raging out there. Crazy. There we go. Perfect timing, right for the afternoon. No wildlife to speak of. Go do a condition, or not a condition, well, temperature condition dump on this log over here. But it is very quiet today. That's going to get us what we need. Wait, I'm so cold. I'm warming up a bit. Mm, something's blowing him. Something's blowing in. And we'll still have to chance it, but... Yeah, especially since we use magnifying glass, it's well worth chancing. I definitely need some water. Give us enough. Yep. Okay, so cooking slot, water. Hmm, I don't have any other uh, pots or pans in this location. Um, so I think we will make another one. This. even gonna go ahead and uh no can't it's not gonna let me cook it on there is it that's too bad i'll do this we need wet water fast okay now i can see if i can cook it yep cook Right, um, drink. Can't, that can didn't give me a can. Why would that not give me a can? So weird why it disappears when you cook it like this and. St I don't understand. Like, if I opened it and ate it cold, I would have got a can. But because I cooked it, I don't get a can? What is this? 
Oh, I understand. Maybe I have to eat it first. Think I can now? Yes, I did. Okay, I understand. All right, all right, all right. It makes sense now to me. Got some stuff going on. We're warming up from that stoop. Don't see anything. I think we'll just hang out here by this fire. I'm going to do this. Leave those cans there. That's enough water. Something else that we're missing is uh, torches. I a little bit too much medicine on me. No, I'll have to go back to the camp. The other, lo our other location. However want to do oh my god that's a nice one yeah let's go i want to actually go wander uh across the map to uh heading towards the dam believe it or not um to just grab everything that i left behind there that uh, i want to move to the other camp uh camp cabin because i got uh, a good uh, portion of the day and it looks like it's going to be very nice out and it'll allow me to poke around the back side of the map and maybe get into a bit of trouble and look for other things that are obscure As I get wanderlust, and there's no animals here, I just have to keep on coming back and checking. But there's, there's like, this is a wildlife dead zone right now. So. Okay, I'm getting positive temperatures when I get the wind block on. I'm not even without it. It's positive, period. Perfect. I don't know how long these torches are going to last or if I'm going to make another fire or what. I probably won't, but for the time being, I'll just use them. Still such time as I... There's, like, this is a great place if you ever want to get, like, lots of wood. I'd come down here on a nice day like today. Just start chopping. Which I could have done as well, but it's not urgent. A lot of this road to 500 days is going to be me not getting bored as well. So I find that by trying to keep moving and mixing it up is important. Maybe I'll go up to the tower. That's the burned down one or the broken one. I think there's still some stuff that can spawn up there, but the other one is, um, can't, I don't really see it right now. Anybody hanging out down here? No. Okay, well we will what we'll do is we work this and we'll take the river. And we'll grab all the uh goodies that are around here. 
keeping our eyes open for any bear action. There doesn't appear to be any cattail over there. Or there. Or here. This place is devoid of... Oh, here we go. None there, none there. Check this. Sometimes there's a few over here. Yeah, we got a couple here. I'm going to let the torch burn out. That's why I've got at least one on me. Did I need it? But we're not carrying the fire. And that's, it's pretty clear out. I could use a magnifying glass if I have to. Come kind of to the end. That's one way to go through back to the rail uh, line. Um, but we're going to go this way. Got to love these warm days. Isn't that something, eh? No. There's only one way down. I like to call it skiing. Now we've... I think we've checked those cabins that are over there anyway, so... Nope, there's a bear. He can, uh, he can do whatever he wants to do. He is not an easy, not the kind of bear that you take out in that location.
I don't see anything uh, worth going for over there. We'll keep moving. <clears throat> You know I checked those trailers when I arrived the first time to the zone. I don't have a torch on me, so... Like lit. I have one on me, but it's not lit. It's what I'm trying to say. Uh, so I'm going to try and avoid this wolf. Once again, there does not seem to be anything over there that I would be uh, overly interested in going over to that side of the world. And there's another one off there. So we got wolves in both pockets here. Obviously, I'm looking up in there trying to see if I can spot any maples. Okay, so he wants to come over and say hi. We'll just take him for a walk with us. He'll probably follow along for a little bit. if we can screw him up a bit so he loses interest. I don't want to get pinned between two of them on my way through. He sounds very close. Wow. Taking the dog for a walk. A beautiful afternoon for it. For a nice brisk walk through the wilderness. Just me and my puppy. Clearly I was here and carved out. Maybe not. Maybe there was just that's the way it sometimes looks like that. I don't really have time to be uh, harvesting cattails with this guy just breathing down my neck. He's just not giving up. He's not thrilled about my existence, of me being present in this area. Oh, a whole ton of Rishi along there. I'll get those later. You got some bad news for you, puppy. You're staying outside today. You are not coming in with me. Now we're going to see how, what I actually did leave back here, because I don't even have a clue. I do not remember at all. I know I searched it. I think I searched it comprehensively. 
Did I, or did I just... Mm, this is looking pretty searched to me. Wow. I never leave a lot of stuff here. The wonderful coal here. Um, I think we'll bring that. I'll bring these. Um, I do need more cans, honestly. With me. I don't need spray paint, that's for sure. What did I leave behind here? Charcoal. Oh, good. But there is some tomato soup. No, oh, um... Keep grabbing charcoal. I can vest. Uh, we want those. I want those. Is that all that was here? It's just a couple of things. Really? Well, I might as well take these with us too then. Nothing hiding under here. I thought I left more canned food back here. I guess that, no, I guess that's just all there was. Some cloth. I think we'll take that. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I searched this place like high and low. Yeah, I know I did. All right, then. So we'll have to remember the dam. Does not have anything for us. Kind of done with the dam. It used to be a time we're going down to the ravine bottom would have been worthwhile, but I don't think it really is anymore. No flare gun down there. I don't think there is, but... Pretty sure they changed all that work. I know there's a stem down there. I'm not climbing down for a stem. Basically, you would use a stem to get back up. There's a train, but there's not going to be a lot at the train that I would want or care about. I think I'll just work the river back. Put us back into the camp cabin. And drink to get... Make sure we get some burden. The kind of peaches is good. It means I can make some of those um, wonderful little snacks that give you back energy at some point. Yeah, I might as well harvest um, now that the wolf is gone. We might as well. We'll work this side deep into the uh, into that section. There's a moose that spawns somewhere around here. But it's not an ideal fight location in my opinion. To harvest everything. The more resources I have stocked away and squirreled away and stuff, the just the easier and easier it gets. There's just so many cattails in this, in this map. In every map. It's just insane how many you can get. You can survive off of them. For like... So long. Especially if you're not trying to do well fed. I literally think you could live off cattails for... Thousand plus days. No problem. Maybe much more than that. If you weren't trying to do well fed. 
This is insane. Look how many there are. I think they need to tone down the cattail spawn, honestly. Something's brewing. I'm not too concerned. I'm uh, getting endless cattails. Wow. This is nuts. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I am sure. Yeah, so I already looted this part. It was just a mouth of it I didn't do. Yeah, that's right. I remember. traversed into this area. It's not too cold to think. It's too windy to walk uh, at a good pace. Literally, walking speed is all that matters to me. Being cold is not a problem. Whoa, where did you come from? Why are you not panic running from me? Mm -hmm.
Oh, I just missed them. Well, at least my survival bow is broken. Where did that arrow go? Uh-oh. Do we just have one of those mysterious, weird shots of a bow that the arrow, like, goes into phase shift because it bounced off the ice and then ricocheted into who knows where. Like up there or something. But I sure don't see it. Hmm. Well, that's why I made more arrowheads because um I'm pretty sure that that arrow has somehow mysteriously vanished into nothing. I feel like bagging that deer is a good idea though. Despite it being cold, I can always just go to the fish hut, though, and warm up if I can nail them. Oh, I got him, but... There was another... Please don't tell me I lost another arrow on that shot. Because of how it operates across the ice. Why would they not have fixed that kind of mechanic, that stuff yet? That's either stuck in them or I've just lost another arrow into the terrain because of how they bounce off ice. I can't believe that they wouldn't have over like, like it's been doing that for so many years, but they have not fixed that issue yet. That is terrible. That you can lose them like that. Is that the one I hit? Pretty sure it is. See if there's blood over here. Doesn't appear to be. Well. It really sucks losing two arrows. Unless it's actually stuck in them somehow. Um, <clears throat> I mean, I'll look around for them later up and try and get up there and stuff, but it's like they fall through the map or something. Something really weird about that. When you shoot and they bounce off the ice, they, I don't know. It would be so nice if they, it's never going to happen because obviously they haven't fixed it yet. They don't even, either don't know how to or they don't care. But it's like that. And um, it's very annoying. Nothing to do with this thing. We just, uh, we just take it out here and we just litter with it. Yeah, I see you're hungry. I know. Let's uh let's make this uh pork and beans. Ruined pork and beans. Alright. Is this it? Yeah, let's eat that. There you go.
go have a look at what's going on out here. Pretty dark. Who knows where that deer is? We'll worry about it later. Um, do we need torches? We got a lot of time. But we, I don't think we want to fish or anything. We do have another fur firewood. Wood fish. I don't think we will. I think we'll just take this and... Uh, God. Really, really getting bad goes here. Even that's not that good. What if I they need sticks and feathers? Okay. Five, six, five feathers. Keep that in mind. Might make I'll make some of them so that I can hunt rabbits and parch and part patarmigans with them. Now we're getting some serious ones. Look at these. Some of the best. Anybody see a deer corpse anywhere? I don't know if I actually hit it. I saw a blood splash, but maybe I didn't actually even hit it. I gotta get better at my aiming. I'm still aiming too low out of the crouch. I can't believe I made those airheads and I left them somewhere. And I remember saying, oh, let's stick these here for now. Anyways, it doesn't matter. They're at uh, Broken Railroad. I think I put them in that little container. So, you can, you can drop this, this. Okay, so that should be good, and we can try for 10, but we won't sleep that long. At least now we know there's not much of the dam. But we did get enough of that. Uh, we got one of those peach things, so... Then the question is, what do we want to do? I guess we go back to Trappers now, and we check again. It's the time of day. Almost there. We're almost there. Get in there. 
three arrows on me. I guess we go look for that that deer. Actually, <laughs> would be the best plan. Yeah, I would say let's dump some of these cattails though. Um, not that one. We do have some more arrowheads. I think we'll keep those on us. We can get feathers wherever, but they're lightweight. Let's uh, transfer six. Uh, so we can transfer 11 and maybe some fire hearted arrows at some point. Um, anyways, cattails. It's, uh, it's not, no, so that's not where I'm keeping them. Where would I keep my cattail collection? I gotta actually click on my food, but they, no, they're, they're not in here. What are they? I know I left cattails here. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I left them. Uh, oh, no, I left a bunch of them at Trappers. That's right. I didn't leave any here. So we will leave some here, though, in the bottom. Um, and now we have some at this location. Let's go with. Uh, Leave 60 here. A little bit of a backup food supply. Um, or cured guts on the ground. What's the condition of my coat? 99%. 93. Clearly, I take good care of my stuff. Freezing cold. The heavy fog. Uh birds though. We can we can follow the birds to my deer. I think we'll take a coal. Actually, we're gonna take uh all this. We'll leave that coal there. We'll take one with us. We're gonna move this down to the uh fish hut. I may mean, have heard them, but anyways, he should be somewhere down here. If I hit him. Again, that's it's total mystery with like where did the arrow go? And did I actually hit him? I never actually saw blood drops, I don't think. I saw it like a splatter looking thing. I'm gonna go and try and get up on that hill and look around for my arrows too. That really bothers me that they just like disappear in the map. I just feel like that's something that, you know, would be something that would try it. They, the coders would try and fix. Like, the developers would say, okay, that's not very good. Let's fix that. It's clearly a bug. Okay, you can drop a couple of these here. I'm gonna drop a couple of coal. Let's keep that on us for now and grab a stick along the way. And not hearing any birds. I'm getting the feeling I didn't hit them. Sure, Starting to have a sneaking suspicion I did not hit him. And that somehow me trying to get him with my bad shots just cost me two completely good arrows. Somewhere around here, I think. Was it over there? No, I think it was around here. I was hiding behind that rock, I thought. I don't know what could have happened. Like if they could have bounced up here or something. Or did they go through the mountain? I don't think I hit that deer. I don't I think that was not a blood splash. That was a 
um, arrow arrow anomaly. This you would think he'd be somewhere around here. Hold on. What are they circling a corpse? Yeah, I think there might be a corpse down there. I might not have searched this, uh, these. Oh, good. There's wolves out on the ice. Fantastic. I may have not searched. Oh, no, the door is open. I think it's a corpse over here. Yeah, for sure. I can see it. I wish that they would actually go away. Like they, after you've searched it, it would, it would not keep doing this. So that like, you wouldn't get confused by birds circling corpses. But once you know where they are, I guess it doesn't matter. Um, not a lot of options here, is there? Clearly I didn't hit that deer, although it's very strange that now he's gone. Don't think I hit him. And I don't know if I can get back up this. Maybe I can. Yeah, I can. Beautiful. Actually, a good way to go. Yeah, those arrows just like literally just uh, vanished into the ether. What are you guys circling? It's got to be a corpse. Um, a human one. Uh, they they got to go check it, though. I mean, there's a world that the deer did get hit. It bled out and ran this way. I mean, that can happen. Got to get better at knowing where all the human corpses are so that I don't go chase them down. Okay, what are you guys circling around? Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh... Let me guess. Can I get up here? I can. And the arrow. At least I only lost one arrow. Okay. Um, it's very cold. Can I get a fire going here? And will it be warm? Yeah, I can. Look at this. Um, can we put it here? Not really. We can put it here, though. Right there. We will use... Can we use magnifying glass? Nope. This and a stick. We didn't even get a stick yet. Are there any sticks around here? No? Okay, we're going to risk it. Risk it. Wait a minute, I have a torch, don't I? Yeah. Ninety-five percent is fairly good. That's good. We'll be able to now have a whole bunch of meat when we're at the uh, camp cabin because uh, the fish would. It's not. It's, it looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. You know, we'd run over very quickly. I like having piles of meat laying around so that I can uh, be sure. Might as well continue to make water. we're doing stuff here. But quite the safe spot, too. Question is, can I get my... Can I stay warm? Appear to be warm here. Let's try one. Yep, we're good. Okay.
Hmm, I'm actually getting cold from here now. That's not good. Why would that be? Did it get colder out? Not very good. Um, eat one cattail. What do we got on these? Uh, 36 minutes. Okay. Man. Okay, right there. I can try. Still is in condition. Not a lot, but it's a little annoying. Got some good eating. Let's get a tea of some kind uh, on the ground and warm it up, just in case we get into some kind of situation. I think it'd be a good idea. And I'm gonna cook some more of this. It's going to get eaten, so might as well. Okay. I think I'm okay here. Maybe I'll get lucky and I'll have another nice day. Okay, um, we can actually drop those. We drop that gut. Hold on. Yep. Get back on this. I definitely lost. I lost one arrow to the sliding across the ice thing. Um, but uh, thank God I found this deer, and it was, uh, and it was uh, had the arrow in it. I knew I hit it. Twenty-two minutes. I'll do this. It'll be fine. All right. Done deer. Done cooking.
couple of 40s. Get some crafting going on. Yeah, we can do some of this too. That's 30 minutes gone by. Okay, we're uh, almost done, almost done. Oh, and the wind's kick it up. Hilarious. Hilarious. Here we go. Possible incoming blizzard. I think we're done here. Now we can just stroll on out of here. Through the back way. Yep, that's the end of that. Now those wolves are nowhere near me. We'll be fine. That's good. That's a uh, that's a nice haul meat. Just want lots of food, like, you know. Oh, hello. Do you see what I see? A deer, a deer. And it's a buck. I get 12 kilograms off of it. That is beautiful. I want to take a shot at it right now. Tell you the truth. So, I'm going to take this opportunity to drop um, all that and even the uh, guts and not be burdened and get my bow out. Where is he? He's way over there. down if I don't floor him up soon. yeah you're gonna be fine oh perfect he's coming right for me closer to the cabin the better nice flat ground oh are you going for it are you going for it nope he's suspicious He's a little suspicious. He's like, something's going on. I'm not sure what's up, but stop. Oh, here we go. Oh, that's it. That was the shot. Nice shot. Good, clean shot. I'm, I'm fairly proud of myself, to tell you the truth. Because now we got meat. Oh, we're doing great. Whoa. Good shot. Good kill. Good stalking. Much better than the one you were doing yesterday on the ice. All right, let's uh, let's get organized here. Let's uh, jump all the. Uh, oh no, let's go get the meat. You can put your bow away, fool. Okay, let's get all this stuff back. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Mm-hmm. We're gonna do the meat out here. Okay, uh, drop all the, uh, drop the only raw meat, and then drop all the cooked meat. Give me snacks. Beautiful. Eat that. Get inside. All right.
Okay, so we need to, we'll do it over here. We need to drop some, um, that. Um, we're going to, uh, eat this. Clean this up. Sure. Now we just kind of need to warm up a bit. I'm not going out there in a blizzard and maybe it turns into one. What is this book? Shooting guide. I don't got time for that. So weird the way I keep finding stuff. Like I didn't see the green tea that was in here, and then all of a sudden I found that aviator cap over here. Um, yeah, I never noticed it. Makes me wonder what else have I missed in this place? I keep walking by. You know what? This is obnoxious. That'll be how we warm up, pass some time, and get rid of that. It's just so annoying looking much better. Do we have any medicine we want to get rid of? Probably do. Yeah, we probably don't need to be carrying this many of these. Uh, we can put some stim packs away, like we're ever going to use them. Um, these ones, transfer all. These ones, transfer all. We'll keep those one on us. These ones, transfer. Anything else I'm satisfied with? Okay, let's go see what's going on out here. Our deer. Oh, it's beautiful out. Well, our, our work is never done. Do I have any... No, I don't have any fuel. Right? No, I have that. Let's get some sticks real quick. We can have a fire beside and Nixie. Cook a few of them up. Uh, maybe we have enough cooked, actually. Yeah, we have enough cooked. Let's go raw. Raw is better because it lasts forever. We can cook it later. Okay. Always hacksaw. Look at that. 12 kilograms. What a beauty. That's oh, what a beautiful... Just to find the first one and then come home to this one? Oh, wow. Just great. Mystery Lake is stocked now. There we have food galore. Be nice to get a whole bunch of water, but it seemed to have made some calculation errors of my pots and pans. Really running a marathon this 500 days you can't think about it when you're at this point in the game it's just so far away you just like just enjoy playing don't think about it it's like taking a long car drive and you're anxious to get there and you're like an hour one of uh five hours and it's just gonna have to put it in your mind and not think about it or you'll start to like really time will go by even slower Right now, I'm just focusing on short-term little tasks, right? The main one is just getting all my initial sort of outposts established with lots of food and water and firewood. Uh, it's a labor of love. Gear is done, other than the moose satchel. 
there's no way to hurry it up. I just have to keep going back to trappers and waiting. It could take two weeks before I see a moose. We're not leaving anything behind. I don't want to do a condition burn really on this. Uh, it's going to take too long. I'd lose like 15% more. I'm already low enough. I don't need the deer hide and the guts particularly. Like I don't really need them. So I'm not, uh, I'm not going to really worry about it very much. Oh, I did have some sticks and call here. All right, so we just need to warm up a little. Um, as she was saying, she just needs to warm up a little bit. And then I'm going to go back to trappers as um, reasons. So is there something else obnoxious that I don't like in this place that I can you know, spend a little bit of time breaking apart? Not that I don't want to do a whole chair. Uh, here's some curtains. Okay. I'm going to take this with me, actually. Give me a little bit of warmth. Here's another curtain. I'll take it. Okay, I want some cloth over at the other location. Yeah. That's pretty good. Honestly. Just drink. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with what I got on me. I think I'll take all that with me. Drop one can here. Um, nothing on there. Did I really not leave any cooking stuff behind? I didn't. So weird that I would do that. I guess when I went to Milton, I took the stuff I had here with me and decided to leave it all behind. Oh, well. Like, I don't even... Oh, you know where it is. Jeez, I'm an idiot. Got this fire at the back side of the house. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I'll take that with me. This can stay here. I'll just take that one with me. All right, let's go. We're going to run. I need to get tired so I can sleep when I get there. Bye-bye, dear. Thanks. Thanks for all the meat. Why am I moving so much between these two spots? It's just because it's literally what I've been doing. I'm looking for spa animal spawns. You can't just sort of sit in one place and let them come to you. I got very lucky. That deer often spawns there. It's right outside. He's like, it's what makes camp cabins so good. Uh, but you, you can't sit there and wait for him. Yeah, it could be a while before he spawns. So by And same with trappers. You can sit there for three days. There'll be nothing. And all of a sudden, boom. You'll get three deer spawn, or you'll get uh, the bear or the moose. So you basically, you got to kind of just rotate between them. I'll grab a bunch of sticks. I know I was a little bit low on firewood and stuff there. I guess what I'm saying is you, you never stick to one place. You just keep moving, and that's why you want to establish these places so that... When you move to them, they there's resources at them already. Um, and this will allow you to move across the map without having to carry resources with you. So you can you can move lightweight. Especially if you're looted certain zones, you're you can you know, it's only when you go into a new zone where you're gonna find a bunch of stuff and you're gonna want to maybe haul it with you. But the last thing you want to be doing is hauling like meat with you or uh, or whatever, right? You don't want to be doing that. You want to be hauling uh, really nothing with you other than your tools and your gear. And then you can wear the heaviest gear. 
and it's not a big deal. Now you won't have obviously the sprint that you, but who cares? Temperature is everything in this in interloper. Right now, like the fact that you, I'm not getting cold fast is just it's godlike. It lets me um, also not have to make direct pathway routes. Um, and it means I don't have to make drinks all the time by traveling ideally. And again, it's like around 1, 2 p.m. in the uh, e in the afternoon is if, it's, if the weather is not windy, right? Um, and often right up until... Um, like almost dark you can get fantastic even into the evening sometimes it's dark out and you're still getting a great temperature there's this window it doesn't happen every day if there's a blizzard no if there's a high winds no if it's really really deep fog yeah but it's dangerous to move in that kind of fog but this where it's lightly snowing you see how warm it is into the early evening amazing Now, since we're almost there and I want wood, I, 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 I consider doing that, except that uh, my condition is not uh, actually at the level I wanted at to do that. So I'm just going to keep going. I'd love to chop up one of these and bring that wood back. Yeah, I want to keep sprinting because I want to get tired. Yeah, I'll be able to warm up, hopefully, and come back out and get some wood before it's time to sleep. And do not see any wildlife. Sometimes, though, you have to wait an hour or so, and it appears. Not seeing really anything, but we'll see. We'll see. Oh, so I did have a couple of uh, pieces here, so that's good. It's good to start to get, get them uh, to get some stuff established. We can drop these ones. We can drop all these. Okay, and we know I have water, which is great. Um, we have lots of food here. Take off. What was that? Freaking noise. What are those birds squawking about? There must be a, a normal corpse somewhere. Or that's a bear. Other birds flying overhead because the sound vanished. I'm not seeing anything out there. It is deadly quiet. All right, so we will have a snack. Even drink something, I think. It's good. Need to warm up a bit. Where's that bedroll that I dropped? There it is. Um, we need to uh, repair it more. That's why I brought that cloth with me. I don't know why. Just in case I want it. Okay. Right. There we go. I'll drop that. Good. And uh, one last thing, which is to go back outside, if I can find a door. Somewhere right here. Yep. Yeah. See what our visibility is like, as well as look for any wildlife. We are saying there's nothing, but the visibility is good. And I need to get a little bit more tired. Oh yeah, it won't let me break down stuff at night. That's right. I gotta remember that. 
So going and chop trying to chop wood is not gonna work. No. I guess we're done. Yeah, I think we're done. I think that's all we can do for today. Got this a little bit cleaned out. I would like to break down some more of this stuff. But I think we're okay with it. Um, problem is we're not going to sleep very long. We're going to sleep right now. Not at all. Anyhow, I'm going to end the episode here because um, I'm going to sleep and I'll wake up early and I'll probably just tinker around sharpening stuff and etc. And I'll start the next one slightly after that. So hope you enjoyed the video. Have a great day and we will see you in the next one.